This plus this is music. And we can use any kind of page. When Ruth reached out to me and said, hey, I've got the Ninth Army Band coming, I was like, they do that? We have, a, you know, we have an army band kind of thing. Well, the first time you guys came in, you guys came in for my orchestra teacher, and uh, frankly, that was, I didn't even know that that was something that happened. That was a really cool experience to get to take the kids to that because a lot of them never get to experience professional, especially small ensembles, um, but professional musical groups in general. To have a group of professionals that come to a school building, uh, it was pretty cool. And so that that started the ball rolling on like, I wonder if, you know, I wonder if you guys would come back. And like, I, you know, there's a euphonium player that day and I'm a euphonium player. So I was like, wait a minute, you guys have a brass band? You know, like, so these are all things that you're just not aware of. I'm not even so sure that the other band directors know that this is even an opportunity. He was like fully in it. Like he was submerged <laughs> uh -huh. in the music, moving. say it's 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 really no different than having any other professional organization come in i mean at the end of the day yes you guys represent the military and there's some uh there's some background that comes with that some context but um you guys are musicians just like the rest of us treat it like having a guest conductor come in treat it like having a guest clinician come in i was really excited to be able to put this together and have your members of the band come and coach my members on how to play in small ensembles because truthfully they don't get that experience uh, really anywhere else. Like you have to, you have to give that first snow form clearly for everybody. So come in confident. I remember specifically in college having the opportunity one to go see and experience and workshop with professional musicians uh, that were traveling around. Because you know when you go to the school in Lower 48, there's that opportunity for collaboration a lot more. These kids are like they're really good and they're really promising. And, they have a real passion for this, like that we should be fostering that relationship. I'll just make eye contact with everybody and I'll go one, two, and then I'll, we will breathe and then I'll play four. I had this conversation with a, a student just the other day. It was like, hey, you remember when you were a freshman? Like I was, I was not the, you know, not the same teacher that, and they were like, well, I didn't know any better. You're my only band teacher in high school. Right? So I, you know, I don't know any better because you're the only band director I've ever had. To me, that was like, oh, well, that's really sweet. But also, dang, I should really be trying to introduce you to more, you know, professional musicians. If I was a new director and I was bringing you guys into my classroom, I would, I would try to find every way I could to get you guys in front of my kids and get my kids to experience professionals outside of me. Mm -hmm.